I grew up in Toulouse. Was um, I was born in um, in in a place who's between France and Spain, the Pyrenees, so in the in the mountains. And um, we were my dad brought us from the farm where I was born to to do shows and to to make us see the world how it was. And we were doing shows, uh, juggling between from circus, theater, but no horses at this time. And I was crazy about horses since, since I'm young, but we didn't have any horses at home. And um, during the show, I was winning a little money. With this money, I bought a horse at six and a half years old. And uh, I was starting going to school uh, with him. I was, I was doing many different, what can do a, a kid with a horse. And without any teaching, without anybody knowing about anything. So I was looking pictures, I was looking a bit on the TV, I was looking a bit books to have ideas about what I can do with his horse. So I was doing a little riding, uh, playing a bit on ground and doing a little making my horse pull a tree. Oh uh, yeah, six brothers and sisters. So many, many and uh, with my two parents. So we were performing. It was a, a hobby. It was the way my, my dad found to make us uh, another culture to go and to see the world. And um, so we brought the horses into that and started making uh, a lot of, um, a lot of tr tr trying to find all the way we can play with horses since a kid. And then two years after, so it was like something eight years old, I started asking to my parents to, to learn and to, to, to learn a bit properly, I would say, what is the horses and how we can ride better, how we can drive, how we can do many different things with the horses. And they sent me to a guy who is um, a Spanish guy who says Francis Jimenez. He's a Spanish guy who lives in France who is a really horse, big horseman and who is also a big farrier. So he knows how to farrier, he's, he's a big teacher, he's, um, he's a, a big great horseman. And I started work, working for him Every time after school I was going to his place working for him, doing the stables, many things, and he was teaching me a bit. And I spent long years with him doing this, this thing, working for him, exchanging lessons, teaching, and, and so I learned how to, how to shoe some horses, I learned how to, how to prepare a lot of different horses and to sort of rescue different horses who were had problem in the dressage, you know, or had problem in the carriage driving, had problem in the jumping or in the high school dressage. So we started working and all the horses in the stable were horses who had problems that we need to bring back to a normal way of being able to work, riding, driving, jumping, dressage, whatever. So we started working on it technically in our head uh, four years ago. Um, I'm building some shows since long time in France, in Europe, and uh, I was in the same time doing high level competition and mixing those two things. So pushing horses to do great thing in competition and then using all those techniques to bring dream to, to the audience. So it was the two things I was doing in the same time. And so it was four years to think about it, how it will be, and to meet some horses to, to find the relation we could build between human and horses, which we have been not down yet, and to try to find a way who is a bit a new way of working with a lot of humans and a lot of horses. And so that was the process. And then we started working on the horses, building, bringing the people to the horses, doing the education of the horses. And I would say most of the work have been done in two years. And before we started working on some horses who were more, who needed more time because some part of the show need four years of education, special, special, special education. And then uh, some of the exercise just need one year. But um, the horses in the show are doing many different things. So you can see a horse who come in liberty and the same horse 20 minutes after will come in jumping and the same horse will come. So the, in different exercise in the show. That makes that the training every day is not boring because the horses are able to do many different things. So we, we go in this way, making that the people and the horses are able to develop many different styles of work. And that's what is 
become not a work, but more a game. Yeah, exactly. In Montreal, where we are in, um, in Sutton, that is um, uh, close to the American border, and um, we have a big farm training center where we develop off the show. Mixing acrobatic stuff, mixing dancing, mixing riding, vaulting, and all the discipline with the horses, and all the different culture, musicians, uh, acrobats, riders, and all the world about the thing. But all is regular by the horses, you know, we, all the, the, the schedule is around the horses. The, the day starts when the horses can start to be on stage or work or something. Uh, you, 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 you don't have any holiday because horses don't take holidays. Uh, they have sometimes some days to work, to, 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 rest, to rest, but they, 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 the holiday idea that we are thinking like humans is not, is not the same way. I met Cavalia when uh, Cavalia was in Europe and in Europe they, they came once in, the, um, in my place because I have a big training center in south of close to Toulouse and in this place uh, I was able to receive between the city the horses because the 60 horses between the city are going in a stable who don't belong to, to Cavalia because the, the big top need to be unloaded and built in the other city. And in this time, we bring the horses in big farms or big training center, but they, they, they can rest, have a field, and have time just, just for holidays, we will say. And I was, in my place, it was that. And I was training for the World Cup uh, high-level competition. And the person who was looking after the horses says, says, said to the director, there is a guy here who is doing competition, but his way of working the horses is really special. You need to come. And we met this way. And uh, I was in, the, in, in my training center, I was preparing competition and shows also. So in the same place we were doing performance and high level competition. And I was going, uh, I like to go on the bridge between show, high level competition and shows. Shows to level competition because art can bring you the opportunity to open the mind and to say I can develop and go somewhere else out from the rules and competition obliges you to go in the rules, obliges you to go in the high level exigence, but it's not your exigence, it's the exigence from uh, rules, rules exigence. So it's a nice, it's a nice exactly in and out. Yeah, there is some people training. There is 300 horses in this place. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Horses in Cavalia, we have in this show 71 horses. There are 71 horses, I would say half of them are coming from Europe. You can see all the quarter horse, Arabians, draft horse are coming from America, but all the Spanish horse, uh, Portuguese horse, most of them are coming from, from Spain and Portugal.